Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the meaning, history, and context behind the words we use every day. Being an independent content creator comes with a certain level of uncertainty, and it can feel like you're dependent on a third party like YouTube or BitChute to host and deliver your content. But podcasting offers a great way to keep your content available to your viewers that can't be directly censored, and even if you lose your account on a service like YouTube, your content will still be available for your viewers to watch. Podcast, noun, a digital file containing an audio or video program distributed episodically via RSS. Also refers to a series of such files usually released on a regular basis. History and etymology. I'm mostly creating this entry to announce that now my program is available in audio format via podcast. The links are in the description to iTunes, Google Play, and the direct RSS feed. But I also wanted to explain why podcasting is an important alternative to third-party streaming sites like YouTube. Even before podcasting, way back in the days of Netscape, people needed a way to share their content with others conveniently. So a method was developed called RSS. That standardized the formatting of text and images on a website that could easily be pulled and fit into or syndicated to another website. This is why RSS is commonly known as really simple syndication. It allowed for text content to be easily shared between users. These RSS feeds allowed people to see the headlines and stories from their favorite web pages all in one convenient reader. Many of these RSS readers have now been replaced by sites such as Facebook or Twitter, but they still have their utilities today. The ability to create and host these RSS feeds yourself has many benefits. The content can't be censored by a third party. If someone subscribes to your content, they get your content. If a third party aggregator decides to stop serving your feed, your readers can completely bypass that aggregator or choose to use a different one that doesn't suppress your content. And in 2004, this RSS technology incorporated the ability to enclose audio files. This allowed programs to automatically check the RSS feed, download any new audio files, and transfer them automatically to an MP3 player or an iPod. It was Apple's line of iPod MP3 players that gave podcasting its name. With podcasting similarity to over-the-air broadcasting, and the fact that most people were listening on Apple iPods, podcast was a natural fit for a name for this distribution method. Prescription and commentary. With all this fear of censorship from YouTube, and alternatives like VidMe going out of business, it's important to have something to fall back on as an independent content creator. Podcasting does require a bit more investment up front, like paying for web hosting and building a website, but it's a small price to pay to keep your content in front of your viewers' eyes. But even if third-party podcast aggregators like iTunes or Google Play decide to stop serving your podcast feed, your viewers can still get your content either by using a different service or by downloading your content directly themselves. This is why I've decided to make my content available as an audio podcast. If anything ever happens to YouTube, BitChute, PewTube, or DTube, my content will still be available for those who want to find it. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned before, I've put links to the audio podcast in my program in the description below. I've also included some links to some websites I've used to create quick and easy podcast feeds in the past. I'm not an expert in this technology, but I've been able to fumble along and get a podcast working before. And this time, I decided to go the easy route, and I paid Squarespace to help me put it together. If you enjoyed this episode about podcasting, please leave a like on this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed learning about this word, podcasting, and if you feel like you'd enjoy learning more about the words we use every day, feel free to subscribe to this channel or the podcast. And until next time, keep on learning.